Guys, Dom Brown here, Mr. Too Easy, America. So, um, I've been reading, you know, I've been reading some of the posts that people put on my, my, um, my Facebook page. Excuse me. And one person put, um, why aren't we more, um, influential in economics than we are? Okay. And I'm going to give you my opinion. Okay. And, and my opinion is from facts in my own family. Okay. And, and when I say my own family, that means my family as a whole, the wife's side, my side, grandparents, great grandparents, vice versa, all sides of the family. Okay. So if I have an uncle that went to college, have a great job, got a degree, don't you think he should pull me up and tell me how to do the same thing? You would think, okay? So let's just say he didn't do that, okay? But then my grandmother tells me, baby, get an education because can no one take knowledge from you. No one can take knowledge. They can take all these material things from you, but they can't take knowledge. Cannot take knowledge. Can't take your dignity. Can't take your, your honesty. Can't take your loyalty. So yes, I go to school. I join the army. I have a good job. So I try to pull somebody up, give them the same knowledge. But yet, the first thing they do is call me an Uncle Tom. Call me a coon. Call me all the names you, you can think of, okay? They, oh, you think you're better than me. Well, if I thought I was better than you, do you think I'd be trying to give you the formula to get out your situation? Think about what you're saying. You sound stupid, okay? So, I don't mind that. I, I still try to bring people up. No matter what your race, color, creed is, I try to give knowledge. That's what I do. Because growing up, I had people in my life that gave me knowledge. White, black, Spanish, Asian gave me knowledge. You know, I had this, this guy I used to work for. name was Rob. Tri-State Realty out in Maryland. I was young, you know, and I hate painting, but he gave me a first job was painting as a laborer. And then, you know, he showed me the ropes and um, he asked me if I had a credit card. I said, yeah, but I maxed it out. He says, I'm going to teach you what a credit card is used for. He says, and I'll pay your credit card debt off, but you're going to hate me at the end. So at the, at the, my credit card limit was five grand. So he says, I'm going to pay the five grand off. And he, and he said, I want you to keep using this credit card. And every time you get paid, put that money on that credit card. So I said, okay. So I do that for a straight six months. That five grand turned into 15 grand, okay? So he said, never live beyond your means. He said, so if you only make 3,000 a month, you can only spend $3,000 on that credit card because you have to pay the balance off before the interest kicks in. So I'm like, okay, I'm never understanding that. Okay, okay, no problem. So as soon as you miss a payment, guess what, that interest kicks in. Next thing you know, that 3,000, that 5,000 limit you're paying back 6,000. That 6,000 limit you, you're paying back turns into 8,000. So you'll never pay that credit card off. So when he showed me that, and that's why I'm kind of frugal now, I'm like, whoa, oh no, no, no. I'll use this credit card for emergencies. I use it here and there just to keep, you know, keep it on. Cause nowadays, if you don't use them, especially Capital One, I had a Capital One for 10 years, $30,000 credit, $30, credit unit. Never used it, I get a letter says, we're going to uh, cut your credit card off because you never used it. I said, what? That makes no sense. Well, you never used it, sir. So now I got to use it at least once a, once a month, and then I just pay it off. So I use it for like 50 bucks and then pay it off. So um, he gave me knowledge. So I tried to pass the same knowledge on, and I pass it on to my children too. Don't get me wrong. But I try to pass it on to other like-minded people, and even people that may not be like-minded. I try to tell them, this is how you use the system. So, it is what it is. But um, I don't understand. If someone can tell me, why is it that some black people, or as Amazing Lucas say, some ignorance, okay? How some ignorance, when you try to teach them, they want to blame you for stuff. Or they want to say that you think you're better than them. Let me tell you something. At the end of the day, I'm better than anybody out here in the world. You want to know why? Because that's my perception of myself. 
You can't tell me how to view myself. It's called self-esteem, esteem of myself. So if I think I'm better than a billionaire and I may only got a few thousand dollars, hey, that's me. If you think you look good, then you look good. You know, that's your perception of yourself. That's your self-esteem. But at the end of the day, I use my knowledge and I pass it on. And I tell my children too, don't judge a book by its cover. Always give knowledge. Because if you can pass on the knowledge or pay it forward, it stop this stigmatism. It stop this so this this racism. It stops all these isms, all these phobias in my mind. It stops it. You know, regardless of what Hollywood puts out there or how most black people are thugs and most Caucasians are rednecks or country boys or whatever, good old boy, whatever it is. The majority of people are not like that. Okay? That's entertainment. Okay? It's entertainment. That's all it is. But see, some people don't see it that way. Is it because you're closed-minded? Or is it because you really don't understand? Or maybe you didn't think outside the box? Or maybe you haven't left your city that you live in? Maybe you never left your state? I met a person on New Year's, New Year's Eve when I was out at the ski place. He was from Baltimore, Maryland. Okay, he li he said he lived a couple blocks from where that, that um, the lady that owned the beauty place, beauty salon got shot at in broad daylight. This man told me his brother moved out into Pennsylvania, wonderful life, you know, got himself a girlfriend, got himself a house, all this stuff. So I said, I said, well, you gonna move? He goes, nah, man, I'm afraid to leave. What are you afraid of? I'm confused. Well, you know, um, we got three generations staying at this one place. You know, my brother made it out and he's doing good, but I'm just afraid to leave. So you're living blocks away from chaos of so people getting shot in broad daylight and you're afraid to leave that? Let me tell you something, that's not systematic racism. That's not the man keeping you down. That's your own fear. Because I'd be damned if I live in a neighborhood and they're shooting people and killing people in broad daylight and if I have an opportunity to leave, I'm leaving. There's no fear. How's there a fear of you leaving a bad situation? I don't understand that. Please help me. If you're a single person, let's say, and this guy was a single male, no girlfriend, no children. He has a car, so you can easily apply for a job somewhere else. Don't have to be Pennsylvania. It could be Virginia. It can be Delaware. It could be California. Apply for a job. Save up your money because you're currently working. Save up your money. And in four, six months, you save enough to move. Get your place a little efficiency or, or a furnished apartment or whatever. And boom, you made the move and you got a, a job to go to. To me, it's not that hard. I've done it. It's not that hard. And let me tell you something, single moms have done it and they're still doing it now. So it's not either you're male or female, black or white. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. How are you afraid to leave a bad situation? If someone can tell me that, please. You know, um, I'm not the strongest person out there and I'm not the smartest, but let me tell you something. If And that's what I asked him. I said, if your brother did it and it worked for him, don't you think he'll help you out? Yeah, he would. And he told me he would, but I'm just still afraid. You can't tell me that's the system keeping him down. You can't tell me that's racism keeping him down. You can't tell me that. Okay, he's standing in his own way. Just like some of us standing in our own way. Do you realize the word can't is not in a dictionary? Because as soon as you use the word can't mentally, you can't do it. You won't even think about doing it. Okay, the word cannot is in the dictionary. That's two separate words. Cannot is in the dictionary, dictionary but the word can't isn't. Because no matter what race, color, creed you are, soon you put can't in the vocabulary, that cancels everything out. Now that's some knowledge for you behind right there. Think about that. So hey, that's me on my soapbox. You can like, share, subscribe. You can put the thumbs down. At the end of the day, <laughs> I'm trying to give you knowledge. You can do you, boo-boo. Do you. Okay? But let me tell you something. I'm mentally strong. I'm physically strong. I'm socially strong because I'm passing the word on to you. 
And I'm spiritually strong because I believe in the almighty God. Okay, so I'm conservative. And um, I've been Republican since 17. And that will never change. You can like me. You can hate me. I don't care what you do. But at the end of the day, do research and then get out of your own way. If you don't get nothing else from this video, get out of your own way. That's what I'm going to name this video. Get out your own way. Till next time, America. Peace.